Hey everybody, Steve here at the Illinois store. I want to show you this beautiful Ludwig Club Date kit we just got in. 60s era, of course, and that white marine pearl has uh, gotten that creamy look to it. Looks great. 8x12, 14x14, 14x20, 5x14 six lug Pioneer snare. The snare is just a touch lighter than the other three drums. And uh, it's a great kit. Of course, these are the mahogany poplar mahogany shells, three ply shells with reinforcement rings. There's a little spot of a piece of paint there, and the bottom rim on the 12 has a little bit of rust, as you can see there. That might come off. Um, the bass drum, there's a little bit of that uh, light pitting on the lug there. This bass drum hoop's got a little bit of wear on it. It's a little tiny bit wonky, but it's fine. Works good. Uh, these are great shells, of course. Everybody knows that. They sound wonderful. This is the 14 by 14 floor tom with the push button legs. There's a little bit of rust on the push button legs. They work, interestingly enough. Those are sometimes a little finicky, but they work fine. And there's the nice Pioneer six lug snare as well. Looks great, everything's there. So this is a really nice kit. It's gonna sound great and it's going to be less expensive than uh, the same uh, downbeat kit if it uh, with, uh, with double row lugs. So again, really nice 60s era Ludwig Club date, white marine pearl, eight by 12, 14, 14, 14 by 20, five by 14 matching Pioneer snare. You'll see it in our reverb store for the Illinois shop, Steve Maxwell Drums, Illinois. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. So let me walk you through this kit a little bit more here. Like I say, you got that nice creamy color to it. It looks great. I love that, uh, the way that looks. You got that cymbal uh, arm there. I do not have the uh, straight arm, but uh, I might be able to find one laying around, but that's the correct uh, mount for the cymbal arm. And there's the tom holder. You can see there's a little bit of rust on that L, but I've got another L arm I can put on there. Kit looks great. Sounds great with those mahogany shells. They always do. There's a shot of the floor tom there. And here's a shot of the uh, floor tom push button legs. Push button legs are funny, and sometimes they don't want to work, but uh, this set of them works. There's a little bit of rust on them. That might come off. We haven't done anything to clean it. Um, the bass drum hoop's got a little bit of a wonky spot there, so it's a little, little weird, but it's fine. It works okay. Uh, again, here's another shot of the bass drum. Looks great. Uh, there's a little bit of, a tiny bit of some light pitting on, on one of the lugs there. I just tried to get a close-up of it. Here's the uh, Pioneer, again, six lug drum, a little bit, tiny bit lighter than the other three drums, but uh, not much. There's a little spot of paint here and a little bit of uh, rust on that bottom rim. That might come out with a little light steel wool, don't know. Uh, the, the paint certainly would, of course, but the little bit of rust, light steel wool might take that out of there. So again, great kit, eight by 12, 14, 14, 14 by 20, club day kit, mahogany poplar, mahogany shells, five by 14, six lug Pioneer snare drum, these things sound great. You know, if you ordered the same sizes with the double row of lugs, uh, the, the downbeat kit would be a lot more money. This will be a great player, and it will look great on stage, and it will be a lot of fun for somebody. Thanks, everybody. See you on our Reverb store.